Welcome to PWA Pinfall. I'm Jason Ord with Pat Kelly, owner and promoter of the Professional Wrestling Alliance, a promotion taking place uh, this afternoon and evening here in the DeVille, Vacaville, California, the DeVille Theater. I'm sorry, Pat, how are you today? Doing well, and it's nice to be recording this uh, podcast here uh, at the site of our first uh, our first show at the Theater DeVille in Vacaville, California. For those that are out of the area and don't know, this is one of those uh, old timey theaters that was built uh, uh, probably before World War II, or right in that vintage, maybe a li- little before. And uh, just years ago, it was refurbished. So, gosh, this place is just drop dead gorgeous with with balconies and a, a beautiful mezzanine. It's got a great stage. Uh, the, the ring's going to go right in the center of uh, uh, of the entire venue. It's got a great lobby. And so uh, we, we've just got a, a stacked card. Our uh, My my business partner and our, our booker and director of wrestling operations, Gabe Jimenez, has put together just an awesome, awesome um, uh, 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 booking tonight from uh, from first match out to, to main event. So I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, this building has maintained its charm and, and a lot of its original looks, but, but with updates. And uh, as we talk about the matches this evening, let's, let's just go back a little bit in time, Pat. Pat Kelly, I, I know that name. I think I've seen YouTube posts where you're, you're doing ring announcing and interviewing um, uh, Chris... Jericho? Yeah, some kid. Uh, I, I, well, you know, I, I think I'm probably the most famous guy in professional wrestling that nobody knows. I, I've come to that conclusion after being, being in the business for 30 years, and, and that's how I like it. And, uh, yeah, I my first exposure to wrestling on television was studio wrestling that was done in a television studio in Union City, California, which is the San Francisco Bay Area. It was called Bay Area Wrestling. A gentleman by the name of Woody Farmer, who was running a wrestling school at the time and to give you a timeline this is probably about 1987 or so and, and I'd been in the business uh, brought in as a ring announcer I'd been in for a couple of years and, and met Woody and and he recruited me to be on this show uh, I was this is back when everybody did everything on a uh, well probably probably outside of w then wwf but uh on other promotions like you know mid-south and uh other portions of the country that had shows on tv uh ours was uh uh no exception in that you wore several hats if you worked on a show like that um so consequently uh i was the uh, ring announcer, I was the commentator at ringside, and I conducted the interviews. And the show you're referring to came about, uh, I guess, a year in uh, to that show. We were on the old uh, Sports Channel Pacific, which is now NBC Sports Bay Area. It was Comcast Sports over the years, and uh, we were in about 18 western states. Um, And there was this young kid, uh, that uh, was uh, coming. He, I knew he had uh, was had come out of Canada. He was like twenty or twenty one years old. The year is nineteen ninety two, and uh, uh, they're saying this kid has some uh, promise in the business, and his name's Chris Jericho. And I said, okay, great. <clears throat> and uh, I'd uh, already worked with a lot of people that, uh, you know, had gone on to moved on to WWF and and uh, uh, guys like Ray Stevens had brought me into the business, worked with Pepper Gomez, uh, fabulous Moolah, May Young. Um, so uh, I remember being in a locker room and we were getting ready and I wore a tuxedo on that show. Um, and as you said, this YouTube or this video is still on YouTube. Uh, I wore a tuxedo on that show. So I'm, I'm getting in, in gimmick in my tuxedo. And this this long haired blonde kid walks in and uh, comes up and says, excuse me, Mr. Kelly. And I, yes. And uh, I'm Chris Jericho. I'm, I'm on the card tonight. <laughs> and uh, that was uh, and Chris and I really haven't kept up, uh, you know, in contact uh, over the years. But uh, uh, but yeah, Chris Jericho's first uh, television match that he wrestled uh, was on that show and uh, did a good job, too. It was great. That is that is good stuff, Pat. So you 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 begin as a ring announcer and an on air personality, and uh, I believe your background is radio broadcasting as well. But through the years, you've assisted 
numerous other, I mean, literally an alphabet of soup, alphabet soup of, 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 of promotions from, from WC, WCs to, to, to numerous other promotions. Uh, what, what made you, was it always your dream to, to run your own promotion? Oh, to start of? the own, pro to, to start, uh, to st start PWA. Uh, yes and no. <laughs> uh, I had, uh, I was, uh, I was associated with a television show in the Pacific Northwest uh, that uh, that went off the air, ceased to be on the air, as shows do, uh, and, and uh, the, you know, everything's fine. So there really wasn't anything more for me to do uh, with that promotion on that show, and that's really uh, the only place I was working in, in professional wrestling at the time in the business. And uh, this, is, uh, this is November of 2018. And uh, so I said, oh, well, I'm going to go back home. I live in a little town called Lodi, California, which is uh, south of the capital of Sacramento, about an hour. And I go, I'm going to go back home and rest and um, kind of see what I want to do in the business. So I'm making phone calls and people are saying, oh, yeah, you should call so and so. or They might be looking for somebody or, uh, y you know, and, and uh, I, I actually, you know, Jason, for the first time in my life, I never made those calls. <laughs> really? Uh, yeah, it wasn't that I was too proud to. It wasn't that I didn't want to work for those promotions that were suggested that I uh, that I talked to. But uh, there was something inside of me that that just didn't make me follow through and make those calls. And then I thought of something that I um, that I've told people for a long time in this business that if uh, if you don't like the way you're being used or you don't like the place you're currently working, you have three choices. You can quit. The second choice is shut up and do as you're told. And the third choice is to start your company and do what you want. <laughs> and uh, so uh, I'm not saying I do exactly as I want because I have a great booker and business partner in Gabe Jimenez. And uh, I, he's, uh, I love, love the guy to death and, and he's got all my faith in, in this business and he's a dear friend as well. But that's the, uh, that's the path that I thought I would take. I go, that's next for me. Um, and I had the, uh, uh, the wherewithal to do it. I, I have financially, I could start a company. So um, here we are today uh, as we record this in Vacaville, California, getting ready tonight for the showdown at the DeVille. Yeah, and I was just about to, you, you brought us, you brought us, gosh, almost 30 years through time here, Pat. And uh, it was a nice, a nice trip through memory lane, but we are here today at the Theater DeVille. We are on the uh, fourth floor looking down over the uh, beautiful downtown metropolis of, of the quaint little city of Vacaville. And as, as I was listening to Clay Jack, another uh, talent that will be performing in our main event. He's in evening. the main tonight, sure is. Yeah. He was outside on, on a hilltop overlooking the town and the, under the blue skies and, and out amongst the, the trees and the shrubbery and, and just talking about what a, what a beautiful day for professional wrestling here in Vacaville. Vacaville, this theater, never having hosted professional wrestling before, Pat, we're, we're, we're trendsetters here today, us old guys. You old guys well, <laughs> are, are establishing a new routine now with professional wrestling in the Theater DeVille, known for hosting many music talents, a few guys you even know have performed here yeah i uh you know i i, I don't want to say i'm old but i went to blow out the candles on my birthday cake and the heat forced me back um but our ring announcers in the corner of this room lena gonzalez laughing at me right now uh but uh uh yeah in fact it, it was funny uh because i uh i was in the rock and roll business for a while i toured with rock bands uh, as a young man uh in my early 20s and and then had a career in, in radio and television, of course, professional wrestling. And um, I I don't know what drew me to this. Maybe there's a higher power that did. But I'm I'm looking back over over the years, and I see where a dearly departed friend of mine um, that died a couple of months ago of cancer, Eddie Money, um, uh, he actually played this theater about three years ago, 
And I go, there, there is, uh, some people call that a God shot. I don't know. But uh, there was something that brought me to some website or some post on social media that Ed had, had played here. So we are sitting in the green room where Ed and the band, and I know that band very, very well, <laughs> uh, sat that night before they went on stage. So, uh, yeah, this is, really a, this is really a special place, and it's a special night for the uh, Pro Wrestling Alliance. Hey, by the way, Pat, what what time does the show get started this evening? Well, we uh, will uh, doors open at uh, six thirty. Uh, first bell is going to be at seven o'clock, and it's during as we record this. It's during the um, uh, the holiday season. It's December fourteenth, and uh, so there's a Toys for Tots drive going on with the Vacaville Fire Department. So, folks that bring a toy, unwrap toy, uh, leave that off, buy a ticket to get in. Uh, we're going to have a special match for them about six thirty or so. That and, is great. Uh, yeah, that so great looking forward time. to it. Super. Well, hey, this is Jason Ord with uh, CEO and and uh, owner of of the PWA, and this has been uh, an edition of PWA Pinfall. Thanks for uh, giving us a few minutes of your time, Pat, and the uh, listeners, and uh, we'll send it back. Thank you.